Hello people and welcome to the Design Palace. My name is LaShonda and I am the owner. And tonight I wanted to do something. I wanted to share my new love of sublimation with the world. So here we are with these wall plates for your light switch. I have done it. I've been doing them for a while, but um, I just wanted to share it because it's something that I enjoy right now. So I'm gonna start with a blank wall plate. It's unbreakable nylon wall plate. It says 3 8 inches, and this is the large size. Can you see that? Okay, you can get these from Lowe's or Home Depot. So let me open it up. And I was thinking, you know, these I didn't use. This one, I didn't put the screws in. So what I'm going to do, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take the screws out. The screws will be just the white screws inside, which it still won't hurt with them being inside and they're still white so i'm just gonna stick one of these in here what well, i can stick both of them in here and let you see how it looks with the screws in so i was thinking maybe i could do them with the screws in but as you can see they stick out too far on the back side so no i won't be able to do them with the screws in um so just gonna do the regular wall plate you don't have to wipe it off but if you want to you can wipe it off because I did touch it on that side and I shouldn't have because I do see there is a little grease on here and I have some alcohol right over here so I can just get some alcohol and put on it just clean it off I don't think that'll do anything I'll wipe it and then uh, once I wipe it off I'll kind of let it dry just a little bit and make sure I don't touch it again on the top side make sure that I don't have any lint on it Okay. So the surface looks clean. All right. So what I am using Sophia the first. And I think on this one where I position Sophia because I used the background and then I used her picture with the little birds and the animals at the bottom, the rabbit and the squirrel. So I think on this one, her face will be cut out right in the hole on the light panel. So, let's get started. All right, so this is a like a foam rubber pad thing that I use to cover. So, I'll show you in a minute how to use that. So, I pick up my plate and I'm going to lay it flat on the surface. And basically what I do is I wrap it or basically fold it around the edges and crease it the best I can. Trying to make sure that it's still even and all sides of um, the image shows all right, so that side is done. Hold that. Then I'm gonna do the same for this side. And I'm gonna crease it. Crease it down here and crease it here. Then I will take it and I will, I will fold it like this. And I will do the same for the top side. We'll fold it and I will try to crease it as best as possible all the way around 
making it tight for the front side. Okay, you see that? And this is what the back side looks like. So you see Sophia's face is like right there in the middle. So she's going to be cut out of it. Um, but I didn't want to waste the ink or print out another transfer. So we're going to go with this one. So what I do after I do all of that, everything is nice, snug, and tight. So image is on the outside of here. So it's like wrapped around. So what I do, I'm going to lay face up. And then I'm going to put the rubber pad on top. Three minutes is long enough for it to transfer onto the plate. So, okay, you can see what I'm about to do is I'm going to open the heat press. I'm going to place the plate down and sandwich the green foam right on top of it. Then I push it in, and I already have um, the time set. So I'm just going to pull down my heat press. And the timer has begun. So like I said, I love, 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 love these. They are just a great addition. And I've been doing sublimation. I started in like probably almost six years ago and I was doing these with pillowcases um, that I found at what is it called the store roses I had found pillowcases for like 50 cents at roses and I didn't find many white or ivory but I I found green I found blue and I found um, peach and pink so those were used for little girls, my own children, and also for some teachers that ordered from me. So I did, she was doing her, her child's room in a baseball, Mickey Mouse baseball. So I made all of her, I made her light plate and I made pillowcases for her son's room and she loved it. Also, I'm going to get some of the plates that go on the plugs. You can do those too. And I think I have some. Um, so let me check and see. Yes, I do. So I do have at least one, and it's it says unbreakable. So, and it is. It looks like it is um, ivory, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. And then I have the double plates as well. And these, I have not tried one yet. I will. And what I did was I cut my, my rubber foam and I should have let it stay in one piece. But I'm thinking I probably could still use it and just add the piece that I cut out that's on the um, heat press right now. Just add it back in there and then I can still put it on top of this one and maybe put a little heat tape or something right here so it can be a set and then it can still fall flush on top of it so it can wrap around um, we have 65 more seconds to go so like I said um, I make the I make the design um, template wide enough where it can wrap around and you can see right here on the back side I try to make sure that it wraps around so on the sides you can get coverage on the sides too of the plates and I don't think this one I didn't let it stay under the heat press long enough and it didn't transfer like it should have so um Next time, I'll make sure that I use heat tape to see if that'll help with um, making it a little bit tighter on those edges. But it shouldn't be, it should be okay because really people are not going to pay attention to that. Just going to pay attention to the beautiful front side of the plates. 
like this one right here this is so beautiful so so beautiful 11 seconds left so 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 we're almost done and I wonder what it's gonna look like so let me before I pull it up let me quickly put on my gloves Here we go. It's going to be smoking hot. Yep, there's the smoke. All right, so I'm going to direct you back this way. Okay, and this little, um, this little thing is really hot. So I moved that to the side. And you can tell that it, it really took really well. And it's very flexible because it's really hot. So, let's see what it looks like. The big reveal. And yes, it took really well. So, those 180 seconds, which is three minutes, that is really, really, really good. good, good, good. And there it is. And it's so, so vibrant. I love it. Do you see that? That's so beautiful. Even though Sophia's face is cut out, I can move her more to the left or the right side so her face can be seen. But look at that. And look at how good that took on those corners. And on this side as well, on all those sides, it took really well. I am so, so, so impressed. Okay, so, like, if I lay it down, I don't really have to bend this one. I don't, because usually I would bend it to make sure when it's on the place on the wall that it's flush to the wall or hugging the wall or hugging around like it's supposed to, um, just so it won't be sticking off the wall the opposite way, like, curved backwards. So, I kind of bend it a little bit um kind of mold it with my hand since it's still hot because whatever way it's gonna bend when it's when it's um not hot anymore that's the way it, it'll look so that is all i have for tonight and let me let you get another good look at it I love these. I love them. I love them. I love them. So one thing I wish I could um, possibly do is I wish I could make like bedding sets, not just um, blankets for children. Um, I want to do like a whole set of bedroom, um, like twin size beds. And I have the same exact design like this on the bedding set along with this pillowcases and I want to do like um, pictures and stuff like that that goes on the wall I know I can do a clock haven't done a clock yet that's one thing I need to do but anyway I just wanted to come and share something that I really love and really is getting obsessed with the next one I will do will be the larger size one and I want to probably do these for like um, man caves and I can do the separate ones for man caves as well. And I haven't done an adult one yet, but that would be the, well, I did. I did the um, one for the Sigma guys and I do have it. So let me grab it real quick before I end my live. Okay, so here it is. And this has become really popular. This is for one of my friends. And I know he's going to love it. Because this he's blue pie. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share for tonight. I hope you enjoyed. It's really easy. Um, well, what you have to do is, I don't have the measurements with me right away, but if you do, like, I think 
four, four height, no, four width, and then 5.7 height, you should be fine with the template covering around where it'll cover the sides like this. So I said width is four and the length or the height is 5.7, 5.75. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a holler. But thank you so much for watching. Again, this is LaShonda from the Design Palace. Have a great night. Thank you.